Hi, this is Dr. Andrew Softley. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about what we call periodontal probing, and that's a way for us to measure how healthy the gums and the bone supporting the teeth is. Okay, the tooth has what we call roots, which are the part of the tooth which holds it in place in the bone. I'm outlining the root of the molar tooth here and a premolar tooth here. And here is the level of the bone. All this is bone holding the tooth in place. Now sometimes if the teeth are not regularly cleaned, you can get buildup on the surface of the tooth, which can cause the bone to dissolve away. And I'll show you some x-rays of that in a bit. So there's less holding the tooth in place. Eventually the tooth can become so loose and the bone and the gum so infected that the tooth might need to be removed. Okay, here's another x-ray showing where you're losing bone support around a tooth. The bone level is up here now. Here's the root once again, but the only part of the root holding it in place in the bone is way up here. And the big problem is that often you cannot tell that you are losing bone support around your teeth, other than maybe your gums look a little bit more red or puffy and maybe they bleed when you brush. Okay, here's another example. In this case, we're losing bone support down what we call the mesial root of this molar. The root goes down like this. There's bone in between the roots, but we've lost bone here, usually from buildup accumulating on the tooth structure right in this area. Okay, now I know this isn't very attractive, but all of this is that hard tartar buildup I was telling you about. This is on the inside of a person's lower front teeth. Here's the tip of the teeth up here, her lip is down here, tongue would be in this direction. All this is hard mineral deposit. Losing the bone support around the teeth and the infection process that causes it is called periodontal disease. When you go to the dentist to have your teeth cleaned, they need to have some way to measure how healthy the bone and gums are supporting the teeth. We can do this using x-rays, but it's more predictable if we take measurements around each tooth. The area we're going to measure is called the sulcus, or the periodontal pocket. Let me show you how we do this. We measure periodontal pockets using a small ruler called a periodontal probe, which looks like this. Slipping the ruler in between the gums and the tooth, we're able to measure how deep the periodontal pockets are. Six measurements for each tooth, in between the tooth on either side, straight in the middle. Same thing on the inside, in between, straight in the middle. A higher measurement would tend to indicate that there's some bone loss happening. We typically like measurements from 1 to 3 millimeters indicating health. 4 to 5 millimeters would indicate that there's some bone loss going on. 6 millimeters and above would indicate advancing periodontal disease. And this is what it looks like doing periodontal probing on an actual patient with healthy gums. 3 millimeters there, 2 millimeters, mm, 3, oh gosh, that's a 6. <laughs> Here's an x-ray of the periodontal probe in place in a pocket on the side of this premolar. 3 millimeter measurements on the probe are here. Typically the probe will go in comfortably to a spot about two to three millimeters away from the level of the bone. Here's an x-ray of a deeper periodontal pocket. Bone level is here. Perioprobe is in place, three millimeters, six millimeters, oh gosh, about seven, eight millimeters deep. And you can see the cause, a little bit of tartar here, a little bit of tartar on the root there. You can see tartar on the roots down here as well. Uh, once again, I hope this was helpful explaining why we do periodontal probing. Thanks.